Hello everyone, welcome to Webotape Academy. So in this series of uh, Flutter, PHP and MySQL, today we will be creating the logout screen of this application. So let's get started. The first thing which we will be doing is to go to my account folder and here I will create a new Dart file and the name of the file will be logout. And now here I will uh, create a stateful widget and I will name the screen as logout screen. All right. Perfect. The next thing which we will be doing is to go to our home page and in our home page, we will be creating one new navigation item or the menu item or sidebar item here uh, and we will call it as logout. So let me check my orders in my home page so I can see my home and view card and view orders. And here we have contact us and then we have my orders. So let me copy this container, the last container, and here I'll be importing uh, the logout screen. So here I'll be writing logout and I will import the logout screen here. And then I will hit save. If I click on this screen, then I will be taken to the screen called logout. Now we have to build up the functionalities of our logout screen. So let's uh, go to our blog. I have also written one nice documentation for this uh, for, for this screen. And uh, the name of this documentation is create Flutter logout screen using PHP MySQL. If you just click on it, at first we have to create the blank screen for the logout function. And then we will be creating the asynchronous function for the logout, all right? So here I'll be copying this function and I will paste it over here. Now I can see we have to import the package called shared preferences as we have stored the data of our uh, login data. And in the login data, we have stored the email and password. So we have to import the shared preferences so that we can fetch the email and password in the screen. And once we get the uh, stored email and password, we will be removing it from our shared preferences so that no data is stored in our shared preferences. Now I will also import the home page, which means that if I just click on the logout screen, I'll be taken to the logout screen at first. Then this method will, or sorry, this function will take place, which will remove all the data stored in the shared preferences. And then once all the data are removed from the shared preferences, I'll be redirected to the home page once again. So I have to import the material package as well. This is all done. The last thing which we have to do is to create the uh, init function. So once the page gets loaded up, we will be creating the super init state. And let us paste the code over here. We are all done. Now, if I just open the app, and if I just click on logout, I have been uh, taken to the home screen once again. Okay, so if I just click on restart button, I'm able to see my username here. And if I type my username and my password is one, two, three, and if I just click on login, I'm able to see that I've been logged in into the system. And if I just click on logout button, I am able to see that I have been again taken back to the home screen. So in the next video, we'll be adding a condition in our home screen, which will check whether the user is logged in or not. If the user is not logged in, then he will be taken to the login screen. And if the user is already logged in, he will be able to see the home screen and the other screens 